Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 13, verses 3 through 9. In Matthew chapter 13, verses 3 through 9, Jesus tells a parable about a person sowing seeds all over the ground. Some fell on places where the birds came and ate the seed. Some seed fell on rocky ground where it had no root. So when it grew, the sun scorched it and it withered. Some fell among thorns. When it grew, it was choked out. But some seed fell on good ground where it grew and matured into a crop which yielded much more seed than that which was sown. Jesus ends this passage by saying in Matthew chapter 13, verse 9, quoting from the New King James Version, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Please note that this statement ends with an exclamation mark. That means that it is stressed as very important. This is an example of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in the kingdom of heaven. This is a promise that of all our efforts to lead others to Jesus may not always reap a harvest of new believers, but in God's timing, a harvest will come. Jesus will go on to explain the parable of the sower and the seeds sown as a sower being one who plants seeds of the message of the gospel with others. This is exemplified in the Great Commission as Jesus states in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, as I quote from the Holman Christian Standard Bible, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Great Commission is also found in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, Luke chapter 24, verses 46 through 47, and also in John chapter 20, verse 21, and Acts chapter 1, verse 8. As Christians, we are the ones sowing the seeds of the gospel today. We are the ones that Jesus is using to lead others to him and to the salvation that only he can provide. We should always be on the lookout for moments that God provides for us to share with others of how he is working in our lives. Our Savior is a miracle worker, and I know this because he saved even me. Dear Lord, you call us to a life that is an active life of salvation in and through Christ Jesus. Please give us the opportunity to share the love that you have put in our hearts with others, that we may be a part of helping the kingdom of heaven to grow in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.